we have got two more episodes of Father Ted. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Eoin McLovin comes for tea. It's probably like Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> it's probably like, that is obviously means Steve. Steve McLovin comes for yeah. tea. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Steve McLovin comes for tea. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Let's do it, man. Three, two, one. Night of the Nearly Dead. <laughs> it really is extraordinary. Strange, short emissions, which the patient shouts out, seemingly involuntarily. Art! 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 Bronze! Girls! Ah, so that's where Father uh, Jack... That's, that explains it. That explains Father Jack. <laughs> oh, shit. Girls! Too, but there's nothing on. Why don't you read a book or something? All right. <laughs> no, Dougal, read a different book. It's been a few minutes. I'll see if there's anything good on now. Honestly, Dougal, you've got to broaden your mind a little bit. What are you reading anyway? William Shatner, Tech Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This Egypt. <laughs> My lovely Mayo mummy, so gentle and so wise. Rocking on your rocking chair, baking cakes and pies. <laughs> it's Owen! Father, isn't he lovely? <laughs> Owen. I'm assuming Owen. 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 Yeah. No, it's Eowyn. 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 Owen. Sure. Why not? Eowyn Minoy. Ahoy, Manoy. Yes, yoing. All right. Irish names don't make sense. They don't make them right. make sense. <laughs> I yeah. have one, so make it make sense, please. He's a brilliant dancer as well. <laughs> it's time to announce the winner of my fabulous poetry competition. Oh, you had to write a poem about me. And the prize is that I call round to the winner's house for a lovely cup of tea. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, God. Here it is. This week's winner. Owen McLove is his name. Singing songs is his game. Someday I will say hello. And for a cup of tea, we will go. And the winner is Mrs O'Neill from Kildare. And it says here she's 110 years old. And she also asks me what my favourite things in the world are. Jumpers and uh, cakes. Oh no, what's this? It's a little puppy with a broken paw. <laughs> I'd better go home and nurse it back to health. Hard luck, Mrs Doyle. Maybe next time. There's one of his songs reminds me of the time my husband... <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> Listen to his latest album. He's brilliant. Okay, we need I, more context here. I was like, I was so in it. I was like, what? What? Her husband? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> We're on the next to last episode of this. It 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 finally comes to light. She has a it husband. Is... God, man! Oh. Wow. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know why that was so funny. Dude. Women, where? where? <laughs> uh, oh man! Oh my God! I mean, women. <laughs> All right, yeah, women. <laughs> cha, cha. <laughs> you can't live with them, and you can't live without them. Yeah, <laughs> but there definitely aren't any women in here. <laughs> I could write a poem and send it into that show. Let's be honest, the poetry Mrs. Doyle writes is bound to be hopeless. <laughs> what would you write about? Inspiration can come from so many places.
No, 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 no. Father Nolan was in the gas explosion. He punched a hole in his chest the size of a football. When they found him afterwards, they were only able to identify him by his dental records. <laughs> Poor Father Nolan. Yes, he's very low at the moment. <laughs> Down, Mrs. Doyle. What was that again? Oh, my club has come to Craigie Hall. He's come to Craigie Hall that he read out my poem. Your poem? <laughs> well, I, I wrote it as a surprise, but it was my poem. No, no, it's mine. I'm sorry, Mrs. Doyle. I don't think so. What was the first line? Oh, and my love has a happy face. <laughs> That's not my poem. No, it's mine. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm hugely confused, Ted. The only thing I can think of that must have happened is that Mrs. Doyle's poem was better than yours. <laughs> well, that couldn't be, could it? That your poem was actually worse than Mrs. Doyle's. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> These are the same people that wrote My Lovely Horse. Hey. And you see how that would end. Hey, that was a great... That should have gone to number one globally. Yeah, that, hey. that should have made... That should have won the Euro song. That should have done... Dude, well, it did that, win the Euro song, but it should have won this Eurovision Song Contest. It should have. I, I can't believe no one's tried it just for the sheer fuck of it. Just I don't know, man. I don't know. Missed opportunities, man. I would agree. But I, I feel like Dougal is playing a very important role in this, in this awesome scene. Just rubbing yeah. it in. Just rubbing it right in. And he's not even meaning to. He <laughs> just is. Not even is. meaning to. <laughs> what is he just, oh, my God. 40,000 tea bags. That's too much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enzi, come in. Enzi, come in, tell us. I can't. It's a secret. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Aha. You won't tell anyone, will you? I swear I won't tell anyone. May I be struck down with every disease that it is known for a middle-aged woman to suffer from. <laughs> That is how it always spreads in a small town. Yes. It's always that lady. Yeah. Going in the very philosophical and very pronounced verbiage of. I, I thought I knew her from somewhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. Charlie. It's Ch Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure I met her. <laughs> when I was growing up in high school. Oh, yeah. Snitch. Oh, yeah. I think he's just pulled up Ted. The good news is he can only afford a crappy blue Ford Cortina. <laughs> Imagine going around in that thing. That's my car. Oh! All right. Still, you know what I mean. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, he's here. Is this the place? What is it? Some kind of mental hospital? No, it's a parochial house. This week's winner is the priest's housekeeper. I have to walk in the door myself. Yes, Owen, you have to walk to the door yourself. <laughs> Mr. McLove will not allow any photographic record of the event apart from one official picture for advertising purposes. Mr. McLove will not sign autographs in ink. Mr. McLove is not an equal opportunities employer. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hello, my. There? Yes, Owen, this God. is Patsy. What? That was that original Nokia block ringtone. Yeah, yeah, that's that, a throwback. That phone that she is using probably still has maybe half a battery left. I mean, God. that itself is dating it. In addition to, you saw with the drawing of the island, it said Cyber Cafe. Do those even still exist? Uh, probably not in first worlds. No, no, because look, right now I'm in North Carolina. I mean, I will be in North Carolina for a while, but when I go down Highway 220 into town from Stoneville to Madison, I see 
internet cafe and it's like an abandoned lot. Okay, good. I thought I thought it was like booming. No, no. So oh. relic of you had the time. guy, you had the guy with the light light bulb and the switch. Look, guys, I call this electricity. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Burn him mm -hmm. at the stake, that witch. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Is someone going to let me in or will I knock on the door? <laughs> now, Dougal, he's our guest. Let's do this for Mrs. Doyle. I'm Owen McLove. That's who I am. Hello, Owen. You're very welcome. Right. Well, I'll leave you alone then. I'll talk to these two. What'll I do if the old one says something and I don't know what to say back to him? Just, just, I don't know. What about the tech looking one? He's looking a bit weird. Owen! I smell wee. Where's that from? <laughs> This one here. This one smells a wee. Best step away there. So where's the winner then so I can go home and have me tea? Actually, you can have your tea here. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Doyle! Oh my goodness. Brilliant, she fell on her arse. What the hell? Oh, oh it's good. <laughs> 58, 59, 60. Right, that's your 20 minutes up. I'm off. Don't try to stop me. Um, Owen, oh, uh, did you enjoy your tea? But, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I want to go now, it's getting dark. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? It's only because the sun goes... It, it, th there's this... It, it, it's got something to do with clouds. I want to get out. How do you get out? Uh, Owen, before you go, uh, was there another poem that was very good this week? What? No. Are you sure? The only other one I remember was from this lunatic. We had to call the police in because it was so demented. No, that, that couldn't be it, no. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking to you now because I don't know what else to say to you. Hello, is Patsy there? I mean, you don't need to keep talking to me on the mobile, you know, I'm right beside you. What? This is a very bad line. Patsy! <laughs> oh, no, not again. <laughs> Go on home now. Nothing to see here. Go away, you big pile of dirty old biddies. I'm afraid we can't stay around to chat. I have a very important baptism tomorrow. The baby has a very big head, and it may not fit in the font. It's like a big tide of jam coming towards us, but jam made out of old women. <laughs> so I think we've got to get back to the house. Go away. I don't want to catch the menopause. <laughs> That's my hand. Try hitting the women's hands. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> oh, he's stealing. Hello? Hello? The battery's dead. What about your phone? They've cut the lines. <laughs> they lie in wait like wolves. The smell of blood in their nostrils. <laughs> waiting. Interminably waiting. And then... He's right, Ted. <laughs> what do they want? I think they just want to mother him. To be honest, he's got nobody to blame except himself. I mean, when you've got album covers like this, you know, you're just asking for trouble. <laughs> I'm no good at judging the size of crowds, but I'd say there's about 17 million of them out there. <laughs> I'm hungry. Where's the jam? <laughs> You're not supposed to eat before your dinner. You shut up. <laughs> I'm Owen McLove. I can do what I like. <laughs> I've got a terrible secret. Do you? Yeah. What is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Owen! Right. Don't eat the jam from the jar. I can have you killed. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> oh, he's gonna do it. 
do it too. I, I was just cleaning the spoon. I can't stand it. They're so quiet. Why are they so quiet? Patsy. What do you want? What do you want? Oh. Oh. All right, she's one of us. <laughs> what? 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 Y yes, yes. Oh, and, um, Mrs. Doyle wants to know, would you like a cake? Who? Mrs. Doyle, this woman here. All oh, right. Uh, it's banana. She says she knows it's her favourite. Oh, God, yeah, I love that. I'll eat that. No one else is getting any. This is all for me. What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? I'm scared. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, Mrs. Doyle, in an unusual move, has uh, baked a jumper in the cake. Oh, shit. I'm going to get sick. This is terrible. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I'm not wearing a cake jumper. This is horrible. Yuck. Oh. Oh. I need the cake, though. You know what we need? Something to lead them away from him, so he can escape. Some kind of misleading event, but... I mean, what could it be? I know! A diversion! That's what it's called, a diversion! <laughs> I didn't ask what it's called. I want to know what the diversion should be. <sighs> come on, come on, ideas, ideas. Frank! Frank! Arse! Damn! Yes, thank you, Father Jack. I think we need more concrete ideas than that. Do you know what they really, really love, Ted? A big game of bingo. Why don't we just lure them into some kind of giant bingo game? How would we do that? Well, we could uh, print up some bingo cards on our printing press and then we... Oh. They yes, don't. it's the uh, lack of a printing press yep. that lets us down there, Dougal. Or bingo balls, or a microphone, or in fact any bingo paraphernalia at all. <laughs> um, so near and yet so far. <laughs> what? No way! Go on home, shoo! Oh, Father, we just wanted to tell you that was a brilliant mass you did last Sunday. Thank you. I, I was very happy with the sermon, actually. <laughs> oh, yes. How did it start again? Uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, I think it was the actor Nick Berry who oh, said... Uh, sorry, Father. Uh, we can't hear you very well through the window. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You said that... Oh, there he is. He's asleep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Isn't he lovely? Oh. My sermon is all. What's going on? Why is the window open? You can't hold it back upstairs. Get upstairs. Back, back. Oh God, what are we going to do now? Poor Father Jack. Not to worry for ourselves, Father, but the little ones. They have their whole lives ahead of them. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh. Ladies, it's after seven o'clock. I think your husbands might be wondering where their breakfasts are. Remember last year, Mrs. Dunn? Your husband tried to wash a cup and burnt the house down. <laughs> and Mrs. Collins, when Mr. Collins tried to make the bed on his own and lost a leg. <laughs> Surely you can't let them get through a day on their own. Go on home. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow. Can I have this duck? <laughs> I would get them cancelled today. Couldn't do that today. I love that. It's like, oh. Uh...
Uh, oh God, love it. I, I I was hoping that Father Jack would come through and do something just to scare them all off, but you know when he's when he's basically an Irish Pokemon, he's useless. Yep, yep. Still my dude though. <laughs> yep, he is. He's he's just he can't handle that amount of pressure, and no man could. That's mm -mm. a lot. That's exactly. a lot. <laughs> I can't take you anywhere. I, I I would be in the same situation as Father Dr Jack, just drunk. I'm like, oh God, just God, just let drink. it be tomorrow. Just let it be tomorrow. Are they, you think they're all driving home? Good God, could you imagine oh. the roads? Mass destruction. Shut up, man. <laughs> oh, shut. This is why this is a Patreon series. <laughs> oh God. Whew. Right, we're off. Oh, did you have those suitcases with you when you came? No, they're yours. I just liked a lot of stuff here, so I thought I'd pack it up and take it off with me. <laughs> oh, that's very cheeky. Well, I'm taking everything, and that's that. Come on, Patsy. I'm sorry he's been so much trouble, Father. I think a lot of it has to do with his problem. Oh, yes, you mentioned something about that earlier. What is his problem? I have no willy. <laughs> 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 Don't you have something to say to Mrs. Doyle? Thanks for the cake, Jumper. Uh. <laughs> There's bloody cake bits all over the place. Father, you've been so kind to us. Would you like to come up to the show next week? Father Maguire was telling me you're always trying to get on television. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's not true. <laughs> it is true, Ted. You're always trying to get on television. You told me it was your number one ambition in the world. Did I? <laughs> I? I might have said that. Joking, probably. <laughs> There's a new part in the show we get an audience member up to take part in a quiz. There's a cash prize. I'll do it. Uh. <laughs> well, Father, you've got four out of five right on your specialist subject, William Shatner's Tech Wars. So, <laughs> if you get the general knowledge question right, the £500 will be yours. Oh, oh no. People will think this is rigged. John Paul II, what was his name before he became Pope? Jim. Oh. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Um, oh, God. I don't know if that's true, but I'm pretty sure it's not true. 100%. I don't think any yeah. popes were named Jim ever. Yeah, oh, who, yeah. Who's that guy? Oh, that's just Jim. Jim is crazy. Yeah, well, yeah. Not John, but anyway. That was awesome. Oh, well, man. Automatic two thumbs up for that one. Man, we, uh, uh, we got one more. We got one more. It's bittersweet, man. It's bittersweet. It is, it is bittersweet, but hey. All great things must come to an end. This is but true. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace a suck. Unplug and and do something amazing. Yeah, see y'all next time. Later. Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this. <laughs>